The field piece SOX2 is a combustion check meter. It quickly measures percent oxygen and stack temperature and calculates percent carbon dioxide and excess air. It comes with a pump so you can easily get air samples in the flue, a rubber boot to handle abuse from the field, a highly accurate oxygen sensor that's protected by a plastic case, a high temp thermocouple to get temperature readings in the flue, and of course, the magnet. When you first turn on the SOX2, you have to wait for it to stabilize. This takes exactly one minute, and the counter on the display will count it down to let you know when it is ready. Now the buttons on the SOX2 are the backlight to turn on the bright blue backlight, the fuel button to either select natural gas, oil number two, or propane. We have the hold, max, and min button, which either holds, this, holds the reading on the display, displays the maximum, or displays the minimum that the unit has seen. And um, also the on-off button, and the excess air, CO2, and O2 button, which will toggle what is being displayed on the screen. Now when you are measuring the excess air and CO2, you do have to have the thermocouple plugged in because it is a calculation and it takes that temperature into consideration. And it also will not display an excess air or CO2 reading until the oxygen level is below 17.9%. So you won't see those readings until you are actually testing a piece of combustion equipment. Now that the sensor is stabilized, let's go over the features of the display. First, in the upper left-hand corner, we have the APO to notify you that the auto power off is activated. This means that the device will shut off after about 15 minutes to save battery life. We have the O2 in the upper right-hand corner to let you know what is being displayed on the screen. That's either going to be excess air, CO2, or O2. We have the reading on the screen to let you know that it is uh, what it, the actual measurement of the upper right-hand corner is. And on the bottom is always the temperature, reading right from the thermocouple right here. Let's go over what combustion is and how it works. Combustion occurs when fuel and oxygen are heated enough to create rapid oxidation. Rapid oxidation is a chemical reaction that creates heat and light, also known as fire. Here's an example of the combustion of methane, which is the fuel in natural gas. One molecule of methane is made up of one carbon atom and four hydrogen atoms. Each atom is represented by a circle with the letter of the element in it. For example, one hydrogen atom is represented with a blue circle with an H in it. Oxygen makes up 20.9% of the air we breathe and one oxygen molecule is made up of two oxygen atoms. There are two oxygen molecules in the yellow box, each having two oxygen atoms. Methane and air are pumped into the furnace where the pilot is. The pilot heats and burns the methane and air enough so that the oxygen molecule splits apart and the oxygen atoms attach to the carbon atom, which creates carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is what you breathe out when you exhale. The hydrogen atoms that were attached to the carbon atom split off and attach to two oxygen atoms and create two H2O molecules or two water molecules. This chemical reaction creates fire that heats the house and sustains the combustion process in the furnace. This is the perfect combustion equation for methane. The perfect combustion equation is only theoretical because it is unlikely that we will have exactly the correct amount of each ingredient in the furnace. If there is too much of one ingredient or not enough of another, we will get incomplete combustion. Let's take a look at an example of that. During incomplete combustion, we will still have fuel and air going into the furnace, but it won't be in the right amounts. If there is not enough oxygen atoms to go around, only one oxygen atom gets attached to the carbon atom, and one oxygen atom attached to one carbon atom creates the poisonous gas, carbon monoxide. Other combustion products are still produced, and some fuel will not get burned in the furnace, and these will go out in the flue in the form of smoke. Since we can't get perfect combustion and want to avoid incomplete combustion, the goal is to tune the system so it has good combustion. How we do this is add more air to the combustion process. Since there is plenty of oxygen atoms to go around, the carbon atom takes two oxygen atoms to create carbon dioxide. 
H2O will also be a byproduct of the combustion process, just like in the perfect combustion example. And since we added more oxygen than needed to the combustion process, some oxygen will pass through the furnace and into the flue without being burned. Oxygen will typically make up 3 to 9% of the total gas in the flue, depending on fuel and system type. Another way to measure the oxygen level is through the excess air calculation. This calculates how much more oxygen was added to the combustion process than needed for perfect combustion. Manufacturers will spec out what the percentage of oxygen and percent excess air should be in the flue. Carbon monoxide may still be in the flue from incomplete combustion, but if the system is tuned properly, this will be in minimal amounts or not at all. And manufacturers will also spec out the maximum acceptable level of carbon monoxide in the flue. Your job is to tune the system so that the excess air, carbon dioxide, oxygen, temperature rise, and stack temperature all meet manufacturer's specifications, and the SOX2 can help you measure all of these. Properly tuned combustion equipment will produce very little or no CO, no soot, and will consume less fuel. That's the basics of the combustion process for methane. The process is similar for other fuels, such as propane or oil number two. Please check manufacturer specifications before tuning a system. The excess air, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and flue temperature should all be taken within 18 inches of the start of the flue and before dilution air has entered the flue. Use the pump to easily take gas samples in the flue. See the instruction manual for a detailed procedure. The SOX2 is a great tool and an inexpensive way to check if combustion equipment is within manufacturer's specifications. Carbon monoxide can be a byproduct of the combustion process and can be very harmful even at low levels. Be sure to get training for installing and maintaining combustion equipment and the dangers of carbon monoxide before installing or doing any work on combustion equipment. If you are trained, a great partner to the SOX2 is the Field Peace SCM3 carbon monoxide meter. See the MC SCM3 video on YouTube for more product info. Thanks for watching, and that is the Field Peace SOX2.